In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make tons of MT this weekend in NBA 2K23. My team, as most of you guys might know, there's going to be the 250k qualifiers, the qualifier number two coming out this Saturday. If you guys have no idea what the 250k tournament is, basically it's going to be a tournament that you have to qualify for and then people play for $250,000 and there's going to be four different qualifiers and this is the second one. And the way to make a lot of MT from these qualifiers is going to be selling your badges and selling your shoe boost. Now, if you guys have no idea what I'm talking about, basically people try to badge up their cards and they try to shoot they try to put shoes on their top cards so they can have a better chance of qualifying so if we look at a lot of these gold tier badges you're gonna see the badges are pretty high in price right now so if you guys have a lot of these gold and silver badges and even the bronze ones I mean I would definitely recommend selling right now and it's gonna be a great way to make some MT this weekend so like I said qualifiers are gonna be on Saturday and you can see right here gold giant slayer is gonna be about 4,000 MT 4,000 MT for one badge is definitely not that bad at all and if you do that like 10 10 times for 4,000. That's going to be 40,000 MT. Super, super easy. This is honestly one of the best ways to make MT in my team right now, especially when there's a qualifier is selling your badges. I mean, selling your badges on Friday is always a good idea, but especially for qualifiers the day before quals, because I'm, I'm posting this on Friday and then obviously qualifiers will be the next day on next day on Saturday. So you guys want to be selling your badges on Friday and maybe even Saturday morning as well. But the best day to do so is probably Thursday and Friday. Like we can see gold Claymore is going for 10 thousand mt for a gold claymore badge so i can put that up for like i can undercut that like crazy and put it up for seven thousand five hundred and we're able to make a lot of mt just showing you guys in this video i'm also going to be showing you guys what are the best badges to sell in the game right now we'll talk about that later but what you guys can do just to make a lot of MT is go through your badges and just look at all these gold ones and then just find on the auction house and see which ones have the most value and then go list them up. It's super easy to do. We can see gold blinders, 8,000 MT. I can undercut this like crazy. If you guys want to sell them for more, you definitely can, but that one's going for about 8.5. I'll list mine up for 5.5 thousand just so I know it's going to sell pretty fast. And so far, just from selling three different gold badges, if these were all to sell after tax, we're going to make about 15,000 MT. And this is taking me, what, 30 seconds? seconds a minute to do like it is literally super super easy to do even agent three has got some value you can go through and look, look through all these silver ones as well gold badges do sell for the most as you guys can see silver ones don't really go for that much sometimes there'll be some expensive silvers depending on what badge is like the most like like what badge is most needed for new cards so like when a new card comes out on friday sometimes there's different badges that those cards needs but we can see you know silver silver guard up is 1.5k and i got four of those so if you do the math that's 6,000 mt if i just go ahead and list up these four silver guard up so you guys kind of get the point by now just go through your collection look at some of these gold badges that you guys have like clamps goes for a decent amount as well and check all of them because you never know what badge is actually gonna have a lot of value like maybe pogo stick for some reason is going for a lot i mean you can get like a couple thousand mt for a gold pogo stick yeah you can get like three to four thousand mt we look at glove probably gonna have decent value as well so that's what you guys want to be doing this friday before qualifiers you're, you're gonna be able to make a lot of mt as well and then same thing if we look at the shoe boost if for example we go look at the plus four three boost right this one is obviously going to go for a lot i will say shoe boost don't really go for a crazy amount of mt but if you guys are looking to sell some if you're like good shoe boost like three point shot maybe like ball handles pretty decent as well i'll just go through the better ones right now just letting you guys know what shoe boost you should be selling so ball handle three point shot you know perimeter defense if you have it block steel you know interior defense the one that always goes for the most though is probably speed so if you guys have a lot if you guys have a lot of these speed diamond shoe boosts i would definitely recommend selling them like i got four of them so i can probably make like 15 to 20k just off these four speed ones and then we look at lateral quickness as well i mean you're, you're able to make a lot of mt just off these diamond shoe boosts so that's another good way to make mt this weekend but the best way is 1000 percent going to be through the badges like i said go through your collection and just look at what gold badges you have as you can see already one of our gold badge has sold the gold giant slayer we're going to redeem that for 4000 mt and after tax we just made 3.6k super super easy and super fast now talking about the best badges in the game right now at least the ones that sell for the most if we go to badges and we go to gold i mean the first one is pretty obvious but limitless range always goes for a lot i think bully might go for a decent amount as well bully gonna be not that crazy expensive i think catch and shoot actually catch and shoot doesn't go for that much but the one i know for sure that goes for a lot is probably clamp breaker wow clamp wait is this silver clamp breaker i'm pretty sure one of the clamp breakers okay so clamp breaker actually isn't going for that much anymore that one's usually 
the one that goes for a lot that's why you just got to quickly check and you just got to go through and see which ones are selling for the most maybe limitless range isn't that much okay yeah, so limitless i mean it's always the most expensive one about 8,000 mt but claymore i had no idea he went for that much and claymore is the most expensive badge that i've seen so far so what you guys want to do is even just go through here and you can just keep looking through and you can just see what badges are going for the most so obviously limitless range can have a lot of value i would say handles for days usually has a good amount as well same thing with quick first step yeah quick first step is the badge that always goes for the most like 20,000 mt for gold quick first step I mean, that's a lot. Even if you have the silver one, you can get yourself like 5,000 MT. Like, do I have gold quick first step? Unfortunately, I don't. I maybe have the silver one, right? Do I have silver quick first step? I do. So how much is silver quick first step? I can probably sell it for like 5,000 MT. And that's going to be super easy to do. Yeah, we can see. I can sell my silver quick first step for 5K. And you guys can just see right away how much mt you're able to make within only like what how many minutes have this been five minutes of just going through your badges and i haven't really been trying to sell them i'm trying to show you guys you know which are the best badges so this is honestly guys the best way to make mt in the game right now let me know in the comment section down below if there's maybe some other hidden badges that go for a lot and let me know if you guys are planning to sell your badges before the 250k qualifiers but i'll catch you guys in the next one peace